Hello, my friends. We're here in Veildale today because Veildale got a makeover. I'm super stoked. I love Veildale anyway. It deserved a makeover. I feel like maybe Fir Grove's going to be next, right? And then we did Moreland, Fort Pinta, the winery. Veildale got a makeover. Fir Grove's going to get one, I'm sure. So I'm so excited. And also because a pet that I have always wanted is now officially available as a pet, the piggies. So I'm here on Melody Bell today. You can't see her just yet. I'll, I'll walk out and we'll do this. I'm so excited. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's take a peek at Veildale. <gasps> Look at it. Oh, I think it looks so cool. I'm so excited. Look at the cafe. <gasps> the blue windows. I kind of wish all the buildings had different colored windows, but that is my favorite shade of blue. So I'm pre pretty much in love. <laughs> I love this. I've always loved Veildale and now I think I love it even more. Um, the texture used to be like a flat white with brown and now it's like a tan, I think it's bricks. It looks like bricks with ivy and I think the wood is a little darker as well. That's cool. I think the, wol the, the wolves, the roofs are totally different. I don't know about the wolves. <laughs> um. I think it looks amazing. Look at this texture down here with the stones. That's so cool. Let's take a peek at it. Elizabeth's house. Oh, there's Patty Pig. There are the pigs. Hey, pigs. Look at Elizabeth's house. I think that fits the Druid theme so well. Look at that. That's adorable. That is so adorable. Elizabeth, I hope you love this. Uh, so yeah, you can see I'm wearing the hurricane set this is the lifetime set that was mailed out one 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 piece per month piece by piece we got the uh <laughs> the outfit and the tack i think the only thing missing is the boots were there boots i don't know i got those on south hook so i'm not sure but gloves hat shirt pants plus all the tack it does not have stats on it really but I think it looks really cool. So I'm for that. And also I have one saddlebag, I think that I own <laughs> and it's blue. <laughs> That's okay. Maybe we'll do some more. We'll do some shopping soon and get a saddlebag um, because we need to purchase some piggies. Look at the piggies. Look, he's prancing. Uh, the day that I can have a pig prancing next to my horse will be the happiest day of my life. Let's check them out. We have cool pig, smart pig, an angry pig. Why is he angry? All right. Okay. Well, we're going to pick him up anyway. Even if he is angry. Look at him sit in the little bags. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I'm petting the little piggy. You can't see it, but hello, little piggy. Hello. Oh, oh we hid. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. And then we have the little black pig. Pig, pink pig, and black spotted pig. Let's go with the black spotted pig. I don't know why he's angry. Maybe we'll find out. <laughs> he's so cute thank you patty pig man those are only available for one week they'll probably return like the the seal the seals do on the iceberg the yorvik wild horses are also gone they will return in the future as well so these houses look amazing i adore the windows i think they're super pretty but I think there's a lot of blue windows. It would be cool if maybe some of the houses had, I don't know, green and some had pink. Because I think green and pink are like Veildale colors, right? Um, I think I've decided to move into this house right here next to the water. Even the bridge looks different. That's so pretty. Wonderful. I love it. What do you guys think? So... I'm continuing to work on some quests. I'm almost 15. At 15 is when we'll be able to do Dino Valley. Uh, Nova has hit 15 and a lot of people are asking why I'm not doing Dino Valley on her. 
And there's a couple reasons. Number one, because I'm going to do Golden Hills Valley on Nova, which I'm just about to do. I'm on the Unlocking the Gate quest or something like that on Nova. Also, you know, I wanted to do Dino Valley first on Cadence to mix it up. So one character is doing one area, one character is doing another. But also, Nova does not have enough reputation with Veildale to do Dino Valley yet. So I have to build her reputation, but Cadence already does. So as soon as that becomes available, we'll be able to do it. So we have so many quests to work on. One of them is still with Avalon. So while we're here, we might as well pop over and see Avalon and get that sorted out. We have the tent quest to work on uh, and then proceed on the quests that lead up to unlocking Golden Hills. Whoa, Maybell, whoa. Maybell? Melody Bell. I say Maybell because that was the name of one of the Star Stable team members' horses. <laughs> There we go. Here is the hypnotic powder cadence. Now you just need to mix it into the Dark Core boss's food and get him to eat it. After he eats it, he will be a lot more cooperative. Good luck. Come back after and let me know how it went. Ooh, so we have to go back over to the area where the Dark Core is located, drilling and ruining the water. Hmm. We're here in the Dark Core area, so now we need to... Oh, ooh, all the equipment's gone. Speak to the Dark Core boss. Are you here again? Am I hungry? Now that you mention it, I guess I am. Go get my lunch, you little creep. I'm really hungry. I need to mix the powder into his lunch before I give it to him. Oh, I said it in his voice and that was, <laughs> that was supposed to be my character's thought. Okay, so, oh, let's pick, oh. <laughs> I thought I may have to pick it up. No, touch it with hypnotic powder. Hello, Dark Core man, sir, boss, mister, mister boss. Here's your lunch. Give me my lunch. Chomp, chomp, go. Mm, what? Oh, who are you? You look so nice. Is there anything I can do for you, sweetie? Drive away the waste? Oh, sure thing. No problem, I'll do it right away. We'll take it with us when we go on the trucks. We're gonna leave right away. So nice to meet you. We'll see you again soon. I need to tell Avalon what happened and the magic power we have <laughs> with this hypnotic powder. We need to get some to Mr. Sands. Hello, Avalon. It worked really, really well. <laughs> Avalon's house is updated too. It looks so cool. Cannons, fantastic. Well done. The water is turning blue again and I can't find any traces of the Pandorian crystal anymore. You're definitely a friend of the people of Jorvik. How can I thank you? Hmm, I know. Here, look at this. This is my old training suit. Oh, and I clicked it. I'm too excited about everything. Oh, man. And it's gone. All right. <laughs> he was thanking us, you know, the usual. <laughs> and came us a bright red tracksuit. Oh my gosh, Avalon. Who are you? Who are you? Who has a tracksuit like that? Thanks, guy. We are returning here to Silverglade to collect some chocolate from Harold for the Lance and Mary Love situation. Here we go, one box of chocolate hearts for you. Who's the lucky one this time? Lance? Oh, so you're delivering it for a friend? Right, I've heard that story before. I swear, it's not from us. What's this? Do you have chocolate for me? From whom? Who could it be? Are they from Mary? <gasps> Do I dare hope that? Yes? You're so mysterious. But whoever the secret admirer is, I want to write a love letter to Mary. So there. How do you write a fine love letter? Can you help me? We could try. I don't think I'm very good at it, but... Roses are red. Violets are blue. If I invite you to a date, will you say I do? Cool Cadence, I really hope she wants to go on a date with me. It's a bit embarrassing to confess, but I would never have done this without your help. Not a problem, Lance. Not a problem. Magical power is growing. Melody Bell, you're gorgeous. Let's talk to Yidris. What's going on, sir? Let's see here. Good that you have a horse. It is heavy work to stretch up the tent materials, so we need your horsepower. 
Should we get started? Sure. What happened? Oh, <gasps> Ooh. okay. That didn't turn out quite right. I think we didn't manage to stretch out the ropes correctly. Or maybe the tent is upside down? What do you think? You think we could tighten the outer ropes? You're welcome to try, as we definitely can't have it looking like this. It is better if the fool and I stay out of the way if you have a plan. Sure it is. Sure. I don't know my plan. Pull! That's my plan! Pull! <laughs> Pulled one of five. Okay. Pull! <gasps> Yay! We got it up! Um, the tent has arisen, Yidris. You were right, Cadence. Now the tent looks as it should. But what is this? There's a lot of holes in the tent. You have to be kidding me. These holes in the tent are a catastrophe. It doesn't matter how they got there. Holes are holes and we have to get them... What? And we have them in our tent. We have to fix them. Can you speak to the tailor in town? He might have some patches we can use to fix the tent. Ride to the tailor in Silverglade Village and ask him. Bring back the whole tailor if you have to. <laughs> we'll just pick Donald up. Carry him out here. I bet we can do that. Stick him on the back of the horse. <laughs> Donald! We have a tent emergency. If I have any pieces of material that can be used to fix a circus tent? Yeah, yes, I have lots of patches. But maybe not the right color. I don't think it matters. I have lots of extra pieces of cloth and you're welcome to them. Can you sew? Good. Then you can go ahead and take this pile of patches. Good luck. In real life I could sew a little bit. I've been working on a t-shirt quilt for a long time now. <laughs> probably have if I had a sewing machine. Do any of you guys sew? It's a pretty, pretty good uh, ability to have, that's for sure. Magical power is growing! I will never get tired of that, that's so much fun. Ah, yay! Oh, there he is over there. Interest. Patches are plenty. There are a lot of different colors, but none in the ones we need. It doesn't matter. More colors can't be wrong. Can you sew? Fantastic. You're so talented. A jack of all trades. Take the patches and fix the holes in the tent. I'm sorry the fool and I don't know how to sew. I could barely get the needle through the thread. Or was it get the thread through the needle? Eye of the needle? Hole of the thread? Alright, you ponder that, Idris. We'll work on this. Thirteen patches! Okay. Ooh, blue. I think it'll look cool with patches on it. I should do that anyway. Okay, all done. Yeah, I like it with the patches. It gives a character. <laughs> what do you think, Idris? All done. You better love it. Thirteen holes fixed. That should be all of them. You say that there are fourteen holes? Ah, the entrance is also a hole. You're such a little joker. Good that you didn't sew that shut, though. There are a lot of patches left over that we can use as flags. What do you think? Try and hang up a few of these in the ropes around the tent. I don't think we should let the fool anywhere near the ropes again. Flags are fantastic things to have and they look great on a carnival. I think it'd be kind of funny to make the fool do it again, but sure. <laughs> we'll do it. Oh, I missed one. We'll come back. We'll come back. Okay, last one. The one that we missed. Hey, Jester. Remember that time you got stuck in the ropes? <laughs> Flags and bright colors. Could it be any better? There. It is almost done. Now we only need to dot the I, which is, of course, to put up the sign. I brought out the circus sign from the container, but it was too heavy for me to put up. Can you and your horse help us put it over by the entrance? Well, yes, of course. Here it is. Circus! Okay. Cool. We'll put it right up. Yeah. Nice. Now everyone knows it's a circus. Mission complete, Idris. It looks pretty awesome to me. There. 
Now we'd look like a real circus. Okay. We'll chat tomorrow then. You rest on it. Look at the pig bobbing! He's jamming to some music that we cannot hear. <laughs> Hello, Marley. We're here at the farm because Marley has a new idea. <laughs> Let's find out what it is. Howdy, Cadence. Thanks for all the help building the jumping course. Now I really need your help again. The jumping course is fine, of course, but I was reading in the last Jorvik Gazette about barrel racing. It sounds like the coolest thing ever. I've already started to put a course together. Unfortunately, I have no idea how barrel racing really works, so I ordered an official rule book. Can you pick it up for me? Derek at the post office should have it by now. Sure we will. Hey, hey buddy Derek. We're looking for a rule book. Hi, Cadence. Aha, yes, Marley's book has arrived. Here's the book he ordered. Barrel racing, huh? It sounds really, really fun. If I ever managed to get up in the saddle, I would definitely want to try that out. Yeah, I did a sneak peek at the book last night. I was bored. I hope you don't mind. Say hello to Marley for me and good luck. I'm gonna need lots of luck, Derek, cause I'm not great at the Western races. Here's your official rule book, Marley. Yeehaw! <laughs> Yeehaw! Now we can put together the first official barrel racing course in Jorvik. Give me a hand here, Cadence. This is gonna be fantastic. The first thing I did was order some barrels. Ooh, good start. You can't really have a barrel race without barrels, right? Even I couldn't get that wrong. James in Fort Pinto was supposed to accept the order and bring them here, but he hasn't shown up. Can you ride over to James and find out what the holdup is? No surprise there. James is not really the most dependable. James, our friend Marley is looking for some barrels that you didn't deliver. Of course, the barrels. I had almost forgotten about that. Unfortunately, the truck that delivered them had a bit of an accident. The truck driver thought for some reason I said Fergrove and not Fort Pinta. So he drove up in the mountains instead of coming straight here. Uh oh. The truck driver called from Fergrove and said that the barrels must have fallen off somewhere between Veildale Lake and Fergrove. He said that if I wanted the barrels, I would have to go and pick them up myself. He said there was no amount of money that could make him drive that road again. I'd love to help out, but I have taken care of all the tourists here in Fort Pinta. Business is going great right now, so I don't really have any time to spare. I'm afraid that if Marley wants them, you'll have to find them yourself. Good luck. Thanks, James. Not really. First off, I think the truck driver should have had to pick them up. He's the one that that mixed it up and dropped them. We'll do it, I guess. We're going up Fergrove Mountain Pass right now. Ooh. Looks like the barrels did not survive the trip. Oh gosh, this one looks like it was flung way out there. Ugh. We need one more barrel. There it is. All right, let's let's get them back to Marley. I hope he's not too disappointed. Your barrels don't look so great, Marley. You found the barrels. Good job, Cadence. But wait, they're completely broken. What should I do now? Without barrels, I can't really have a barrel race, can I? Ooh, no. We'll figure something out, though, Marley. Don't worry. Well, that's all I have time for today, you guys. I didn't have a whole lot of time, but I knew I wanted to get on and see Veildale, new Veildale, and pick up the little piggies because I was so excited. I've been wanting little piggy pets since I saw the pigs, I think. <laughs> I just love them so much. I'll be back on to record again soon because we are almost level 15. We're getting there a little slowly, but we're getting there. And then Dino Valley will happen. Yay! And Golden Hills is about to happen on Nova. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to record tomorrow on Nova because I'm hoping to unlock Golden Hills. For all I know, it's going to take three episodes just to get the gates open. I, I don't know. <laughs> but I, I'm excited. No matter what happens, I'm excited. I have an impromptu meetup planned for this Saturday. Um, I, I know I usually like to try and schedule them well in advance so everyone can prepare, but with summer coming, I want to do as many meetups as I can. So I, I had the opportunity come up and I just said, hey, let's do it. Let's have an impromptu meetup. So I might not be able to do a video for each and every one of these meetups. Um, the best place is going to be either keep an eye on my uh, Star Stable Facebook page 
which you'll find in the link below, or my website, stacyplace.com. I'm going to keep meetup information in the sidebar there. This side, this side, in the sidebar, you'll find information about the meetup. Um, check that, because I will update that as soon as I know, even before I have time to make a video. Um, but with all you guys out of school, I know everyone's gonna have more, more chances to be on. And I'm just, if I have the chance, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll still be live streaming. That's always the best thing to do is tune into the live stream because my text gets lost in the chat so easily and I will answer questions and say things and people don't see it and then they feel lost or left out and I hate for that to happen. But if you watch the live stream, I can kind of talk to you guys and let you know and I can answer questions and stuff. Oh, it's just so much fun. It's been so long since I've done a meetup, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. It will be on Saturday from 1 to 3 Eastern time. If you need to look it up, all you need to do is Google what time is 1 p.m. Eastern in and then put where you're from or your time zone. And it, Google will automatically just give you, <laughs> give you the time. But I look, very much look forward to it and seeing all of you guys. And thank you for tuning in and watching. And I will see you next time. Bye.